What's up, Boom Squad? I hope everybody is having a wonderful day today. Super excited. We're going to be hopping into... What's that? You guys hear that from afar? It's One Piece Day. Yes, that's right. It's everybody's favorite days uh, of the week. I'm super excited because last episode, uh, we laughed and we cried and then we cried again. And then to cap it off, we cried. So, you know, it was a pretty busy set of episodes um 35 through 37 were really 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 good um when it finally finally nami asks luffy for help luffy's like oh, of course i will he even kind of said it like that and then we had the most badass moment possibly in in the entire show so far where it's uh luffy sanji zoro Usopp also happens to be there uh where they walk to the gates of arlong and and then just Luffy breaks it down and he's like, yo, I need to talk to your boss. Get him out here right now because <laughs> it's serious. So, yeah, it, it I'm looking forward to these next episodes. I can't wait to see how Luffy deals with Arlong and and man, I'm just excited. I'm just excited. You know what else is exciting when you guys decide to feed the algorithm monster? By hitting that subscribe button down below if you're new here, giving us the thumbs up, hitting us with a comment. All those things do a lot of help in helping the channel grow. You guys have no idea. It's more or less like telling YouTube like, hey, you know, this guy's pretty neat. But it's up to you. It's free to do, but it's up to you. I'm not mad at you either way. I just appreciate you hanging out, baby. But yeah, guys, so we're going to be hopping into 38, 39, and 40 today. Uh, I don't know if this is where the arc's going to end. Uh, by the looks of it, I don't think it is, but we're going to find out. I'm super excited. Of course, if you want to see these completely unedited, patreon.com forward slash boomstick. And then we're going to put the socials right here. And you know what we're going to do next? We're going to hop into the episodes. So let's do the thing. Let's go. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Episode 38. For real, guys. Episode 37 may be my favorite of the series so far. It's huge character growth for Nami. The guy's walking up to, to Arlong's place here. Luffy busting in, getting ready to be like, I'm going to clap those cheeks, baby. <laughs> Everybody collectively is like, he is. I mean, even his nose is pointing at people. His name happens to be Arlong. That's lucky. Luffy. Luffy. Oh, yeah, baby. The guy who likes taking walk. <laughs> Hachi is so like, I don't know yet if Hachi is a criminal mastermind or an absolute moron because, you know, the one episode he was able to move an entire coral reef. That way the ship actually crashed into it. But he also gave Zoro a free ride. And then he just kind of let Luffy go because Luffy was just for a walk. Uh oh, oh, how's this going to go? Oh, is he going to hit him with some gum gum, knock you the F out? Oh! How's that for your evolution of humanity, you giant turd? Oh, yeah. That's satisfying AF. I'm going to guess he's going to respond in kind. Oh, do not put the hat. Is he going to go ahead and put the hat on her right now? Yep. Bloop. There it is. It's going to happen. That was, dude. I'm not going to, if you guys... <laughs> yeah, don't make his navigator cry. Oh, I'm guessing that's Sanji's feet. Yes, sir. Small fries. Oh, the evolution of uh, man is taking a hit. Man, I hope Luffy and Sanji have a lot of adventures together because I, I, so the way I'm seeing things is like, it's funny that Usopp actually just popped up on the screen. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to take that off for a second. That way I can just <laughs> speak straight to you guys. Uh, the way I'm seeing things is that the dynamic, as I understand it so far, is that Sanji will be the one that pushes back. Like Sanji has faith in Luffy, I feel like, even now. I feel like Sanji is going to be the one that pushes back on Luffy. I feel like Zoro is going to be the one that kind of always listens to Luffy. Like He sees Luffy as the leader, and you do what the leader says. Usopp. I just feel like Usopp's kind of his own thing, man. Like, I feel like Usopp is just kind of along for the ride. Don't get me wrong. Like, I, I know, you know, I'm sure these people are going to be friends to him. 
and and stuff like that. But I feel like so far, like for Usopp, there's not like this huge connection to to them the way like the others already feel connected. Even Sanji uh, feels more connected to Luffy than Usopp does. I mean, I, you know, could be totally wrong. I'm just saying the way it feels. Like Sanji feels like the devil's advocate to Luffy. Zoro feels like the one that's always going to agree with him. Usopp kind of going to be the tiebreaker. So yeah, well, we shall see. <laughs> Usopp's like, man, as long as I ain't got a fight, we're good. Uh, he's the very known swordsman, sir. That's Zoro. He tricked me. He sure did. <laughs> Which means. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Oh, oh, you guys are mad at her for betraying you. <laughs> really? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He's going to whoop that booty. You still want to try to break in now? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> They're acting almost as like the bouncers. It's like, if you guys want a front row seat, it's five bucks. Reason to fight? Nami's a homie, man. What do you mean? Exactly. See, they care about Nami. I know somebody in the comments is going to be like, the villagers care about Nami too. I feel like not the same way, though. Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is that like the... Oh, is it Momu? Dude, is Momu going to be on their side? I hope it's Momu. I, I It's going to be Momu. It's got to be. You know what you want, Dad? Oh, God, these guys? No, 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 no. I'm going to go sleep. Yes. Yes, I knew it. <laughs> Luffy and Sanji are going to be like, nah, it's a friend. That's our homie. Oh, I still feel so bad for him. <laughs> the sea cow. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Good night. I feel so bad for it though. Oh, he's like, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just leave. Uh oh, do not hurt Momu. Uh oh, wait, does he have like a? Uh oh. Oh, what? Okay. Dude, I love how calm the first three are, and then there's Usopp. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, dude, you got to get that sturdy base going, man. Hey, uh, yeah, I'm guessing he's going to get just go full. Yeah. Gum gum tornado or something. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Momu realizes he's messed up. <laughs> uh huh. He does have devil fruit power. Oh, I cannot. Oh, dude, is he just going to like flip Momu out? That doesn't sound right, but still. Oh, gum gum pinwheel. Let's go. Oh, he is just. Oh. Yuppers. <laughs> oh, my God. Gin's back there. I'm so wrecked. I don't think Momo is going to have beef anymore. I think he's just going to go do his own thing. He's like, I just want to go relax, live in a cottage somewhere, be left alone. 
Yes, sir. I've got a feeling. Dude, poor Momu. He just, man, Momu's just trying to exist and he can't because he's under Arlong's cruel spell. Still, though, if I had the chance to get me one of those, I would. Totally. Totally. I like Johnny and you scared. Just like, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. He's like a little help, fellas. <laughs> How dare you? He's like, you guys need to call more guys or like, are we good? Oh, no, nah, man. Let's see this man on a rampage. 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 Do as you wish. Really? Okay. 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 <laughs> Hear me? <laughs> Luffy's like, I need, I need, I just, you guys really need to like get my feet out of this, please. That's pretty gross. Luffy's still like, can someone please get me out of this concrete? <laughs> well, I've seen him crushed before by stuff, so it should be all right. Hachi's like, well, he should be dead. But that's not how Luffy works. Did he break him out? Did he help you out? Hopefully Hachi got... Oh, Sanji busted it up. Let's go, baby. Dude, he got the longest legs ever. <laughs> Just behind him like a cheerleader. <laughs> oh. oh, I think Uso's got a little bit of a crush now. Nami better watch out. Exactly. Lady. Wow, Sanji's not going to take kindly to that. Yeah, I was waiting on that one. Butter. <laughs> yes. That's what I love. Like, this show is kind of like, you know, it's, it's a show based around pirates, but it's got like an old Western feel. And, you know, for those Western, I mean like old West feel. Like, every, everything feels like a one-on-one -on -one showdown a lot of the times uh the way the dialogue is and stuff like that is the way like the old school westerns were where they like you know where they would talk to each other it just it, it's just got like this really good ebb and flow of uh, uh of personality to it and like and and more or less like like personal dialogue like i really I, I really like the way they actually have the characters speaking to one another as though like no one else around them exists for the time being it's just like those two talking I, I think, you know, it'll be fine if we just, like, you know, make him like a doorstop where you're just like, bring. Oh, he's going to let go and smack him in the face, isn't he? Watch out, you about to get hit. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, the one who fooled you and your criminal mastermind tricks. Oh. See, that's what I'm talking about. Once again, it, it goes from, like, the situation of them versus Arlong Park and stuff like that. And But no, like, all of a sudden, it, it, was, it was Sanji and that guy. Now it's Zoro and Hachi. It, 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 it becomes, it, like, the way they scale down the issues and the fights. I just, I, I love it, man. Sorry for all the pausing. I just, these are things I want to talk about. And then there's Usopp. <laughs> Ooh. Dude, he's one of the, like, yeah, he's like one of those uh, uh, weeble wobbles. 
like the the, the blow up box and things like you hit it and it pops back up be like yo can you spit on this concrete and help me out bud Usopp and that guy make perfect sense to fight Usopp's got the slingshot that guy can spit like he's a slingshot kind of works out <laughs> <laughs> Usopp said, Psych. Let's go. My man stepping up. <laughs> uh, Usopp's kind of like that video game character. Or like when you're playing video games. And it's like you keep trying to lure the bad guy to like the higher cliff. That way you can like knock him down. Oh, he is catching up quick, brother. Why are these people pirates? Mostly, yeah, mostly for fun. I'd be asking Arlong, be like, yo, can you can you get me out of this concrete? Is he going to help him out? Okay, or not help him out. Oh, this isn't good. <laughs> Ow. Ah, oh, dude, he's got some sharp teeth. <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna bite your back. Whoa, he is very strong. Yo, is Momu gonna save him? You know, the people in the town could help, I guess. Yo, Momu needs to come up. You know what? Momu can get redemption right here. I'm ready for this fight. It's going to go to the next episode, isn't it? You're going to you're going to tease me, aren't you, One Piece? Aren't you? Oh, come on, man. Just stay down there, buddy. It's it's okay. That's a lot of air coming out. Come on. I know Momu could do it. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> they say Usopp is still running through Kokoyashi Village to this day. Oh, man. It's going to end right there. All right, guys. Really good episode 38. Setting up a bigger battle to be played. Luffy in the water. What shall happen? I still, I, I still want Momu to come up big here, save him. Everything be okay. okay. I love, love, like you know how, how they just like knock, it, like the fishmen have knocked Nami down to be just like nothing at all, and and in knowing her in way way less time, how much they've built Nami up because she's part of the crew. Uh, I freaking love that man. Like they're doing such a good job of building these like character relationships, and 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 like I said, like the dialogue one on one, scaling the story from being bigger to singular is is really good as well. So really good episode after such an emotional episode. We got to see some more fighting, uh, and yeah, we're we're on to episode thirty nine. Let's do it. All right, ladies and gents, let's get into it. Episode thirty nine. I still love the way like Arlong's building looks. Where it has like his the shark like saw nose at the top. Who's going to save Luffy is the question though. I was gonna say, and the episode ended with Zoro slashing. So does he? Does he get the hit? Ooh, sweet haircut though. <laughs> Yes, it'll grow. See, at least Hanji has like one positive aspect about his personality. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my god. Zoro's like, I am in no mood for this, so I'm just going to cut everything off. All right, all right. Ooh, I was gonna say, watch out for the on the man on the way down. 
Hachi suckers. Okay. That's oh oh. Okay. <laughs> He's. Yeah, we're gonna finish this fight. What are we gonna do here? Yo. Exactly. You you didn't think Najiko was actually gonna sit on the like the sideline, right? Like you knew she was gonna hop in this fight. I'm I'm expecting Nami to show up at any time at this point. Oh, she even has a giant hammer to break him out. I love that like they, they see everybody as big bro. <laughs> like I don't I don't know like I guess that equates to like does that mean like they also consider them superior as well? I know you know, I know that means like that means they're homies or whatever. And that means respect, but does that also mean like they see themselves as like inferior to Luffy and everybody else when they call him big bro, big sis? <laughs> well, get down here and fight, man. Let's go. I've been waiting all sorts of episodes to see you go at it. You're the giant octopus man. Ah, oh, come on, Zoro. He's still healing up, man. Like a lot of people probably have already forgotten that like. My man's has been going through it. That Mihawk haircut he got. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good at all. Yeah. Oh, my God. Hachi's too stupid to realize he's actually hurt. Oh, yes. This isn't even my final form. Oh, God. He's got a bunch of swords now. <laughs> he genuinely thinks he's mocking him. Well, obviously. Ooh. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, a man with no neck like that can, can punch very, very hard. I do love it. It, it always seems like. There's like an episode where where the straw hats kind of get the upper hand, and then like the the next episode is very much built around uh, the consequences and them actually kind of having to face like a little bit of adversity. Like Zoro's hurt, Sanji's not paying attention, Nami's not there, Usopp still running the hills. <laughs> so uh, you know, and, and Luffy's currently drowning. So they do like a really good job of like that ebb and flow of. Kind of like a very high-end episode, like where they're doing very well, but also still making them appear human by, you know, knocking Sanji the F out. Oh my God, is he really taking the credit for uh, actually defeating Zoro? Okay, that's actually kind of impressive. Respect. Does he ruin Arlong Park? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Oh, man, my man's is delirious. And you got to get stronger. Yes, sir. Let's go. What speed? That being said, the other day uh, on Easter, I was driving around and at the local park, there was a kid running around the track wearing a Sonic suit. And I was like, I was like, go get it, young man. Nothing but speed. <laughs> I love the perspective they always kind of draw Usopp from. It's always from like the chin up to kind of accentuate like his nose. It always gives him kind of like this like upbeat perspective, even though he's a scaredy cat. Oh no, you're about to get spit on, bro. Well, that sounds not good, but yeah. Yeah. Turn around. <laughs> Is he going to run back? <laughs> well, at least he's running back to everyone. That is some tough concrete. Uh-oh. 
Come on, Sanji. You putting a cigarette in your mouth, bud? You need there we go. Daddy just needs his medicine. <laughs> He said, that hurt. Ugh. I like how he's not Sanji to them. He's big bro cook. Can definitely appreciate how optimistic he is about the entire fight. Oh, come on, man. I'm ready for this. He's like, can I borrow two swords? Yes. Let's go. Catch these. No. No. Okay, he's going to catch them. Come on, man. I have faith in you, Zoro. You can do this, baby. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Let's go. Streaming wolf swords. Okay. Oh. Looks like we're having sashimi for dinner. What's the octopus balls? Tepoyaki or something? Oh, yeah, dude. You, I'm going to have to sit this doctor guy down and make him watch uh, the other 38 episodes of One Piece. That way he understands the resolve of one Rorono Zoro. Oh. Why we got to bring up Queena, man? Oh. Yes, come on. Oh, you know when he gets that look in his eye. At least I feel like that's not what he means. Exactly, there we go. Finally, he said what we're all thinking. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> that would be bad. It's okay. He's got this. Oh. Gracious. Yes, sir. Let's go. I really do love the way like they film Zoro. Like the the same or draw. The same way I was talking about like the the angles they use for like Usopp, like always like kind of like looking up or to the side. Like it's it's almost like the same with Zoro, like zoomed in. That way it kind of shows like his intensity a lot of the times. Because, you know, he's always either sleeping or chilling or something like that. But when he gets in his fight, like he gets like that different look at in his eye. It reminds me too of uh, Ninja Turtles when you know they would go from like being regular to fighting, like they would have like you know regular looking eyes, but when they would go into fighting mode, they would go almost completely white or always completely white. And his are like kind of the same thing, like his eyes change from just looking normal to just being very like small, precise, and like zoned in on his target. So like the way they draw him is really good. A free hand. <laughs> <laughs> Pick up those heavy swords. Oh, come on, man. You got this. There you go. Oh, dude. I lo I really hope that Mihawk continues to be like the the constant inspiration for him getting better. Like, I love the way they're, they're showing Mihawk behind him. Oh. Oh. Now that's how you do a sword move, baby. <laughs> I feel bad because he's an idiot, but he's also a bad guy. So, you know, it kind of goes both ways here. Is she going to see Usopp running by? <laughs> oh, man, I feel so bad for her still. There we go. Now she's ready to get back into the fight. Oh, there we go. Oh, is he going to hop in with him? Yeah, but man, he's been around water his entire life. Like, 
I'm guessing he's probably got a trick or two up his sleeve. You know, he was raised by a pirate. A, a rather ruthless one at that. Wait, are they you? Oh, yo! That's incredibly smart. Man, I bet his acid reflux takes forever to move. Uh, you might want to look behind you, because I feel like that guy's going to be rather close. Yeah. Oh, I like the way they actually drew that right there. It's kind of sick. <laughs> I like how he's like, look at my expansive land. And all my guys that you guys knocked out. Like, you're literally the only one still standing, bud. And the villagers hadn't even tried to fight you. Come on, Luffy. Wake up, man. Time to fight, baby. <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> oh, such a good episode right there. Oh, man. I, I Like I said, it's the ebb and the flow of this show. Like, I love when they, they throw a little... Oh, I just realized in the ending he's actually pushing away from Nami. But, uh, yeah, the ebb and the flow in the show, man, where it's like, you know, you have that one show where it looks like they are... Or one episode it looks like they're just going to dominate the entire fight. And then, like, the next episode, they, they the bad guys finally show they got some skill. Even Hachi right there, man. Giant six-sword tornado. Pretty nasty. And I do appreciate, like, the way... Like, that Mihawk fight was so important. Like, so that was about 15 episodes ago at this point. And an and anime this big could just wash all that away and just, like, occasionally bring Mihawk up. But the fact that he continues to be inspiration for what Zoro wants to be, he continues to be the goal, shows, like, how they're building this world. And I really like that so far. So I, I can really appreciate about that. But, guys, time for... Episode 40. Let's do it. Let's get into it. No looking at the title. That's the rules. That's the rules. Oh, that is not good. Oh, I like the way he's using the hammer to actually, like, keep himself down. I'd be like, eat me, bro. Oh, that's just rude. He's just trying to save someone. Oh. Oh. Sanji said, think again. Oh, pull it on his ponytail. Big ouchies. Is he supposed to be like a manta ray? Like a stingray thing? Man. I'm not gonna lie, these fish people like they 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 they're like people who do CrossFit. Like they really like telling people that they're fish people. The bow buster. Oh god. Okay, that's not the best name ever. Oh, that is insane move right there. Sanji, I don't know how to tell you this, man, but you're probably going to have to do better. Ow! Oh, all your kicks have really bad names because they sound like they hurt a lot. Oh, 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 oh. He said to knock you the f out fist thing. Oh, is he coming back? There we go. He said, hang on. Yeah, he's like, I'm going I'm to need some air real quick. Oh, dude, at this point, it's just bullying. Respect. Oh, they all have such condescending laughs. I can't stand it. Luffy, I need you. I need you to snap to it, man. Come. On. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's still good, no matter what. I, dude. So like, they did it in the beginning of this one, the last part of that episode. Like, they're very much like. Look at the way they're starting to do, like, draw Arlong. It's got like this neon aesthetic to it, almost, especially around the eyes. And they did it when when Sanji was in the water with the other guy as well. Like, I I don't know. You know, before they kind of did like almost watercolor s stills, and now they're doing like more like neon bright color stuff. So I don't know what that is, but I'm I'm digging on it right now. 
like that kind of like neon arcade style is is I I really like that aesthetic. Oh, he's he's saying all the wrong things to him right now. It's it's gonna be bad for him. It's gonna be real bad. Yep, there it is. Once again, the zoom in on the intense eye. Oh my god. Yeah, that's that's how you get was it nitrogen poisoning, the bins? Oh my god! Okay. My tummy hurts. Oh damn man. Oh, that is not good. Yep. There we go. He, he using that big brain power he's got. Okay, so an attack 10 times more powerful. He's like writing it down. He's like 10, 100. Oh, God. Oh, yes, sir. How's that concrete taste? <laughs> oh, boom. Oh, oh, yeah. You're going to smell the foot on this one, bud. Oh, 10,000 brick pick. Enjoy that, buddy. Man, I just realized Gin can hold his breath for an extremely long time. You okay, bud? Oh my god, it actually left a him-sized hole in the wall. That... There's your comedy. <laughs> oh, gee. Literally small fish. Game blouses. Oh, I thought you guys were like the epitome of evolution there, buddy. See, they're doing like the, the neon. Like That's kind of cool, man. Well, everyone's still alive, except maybe a couple of the fish pirates. <laughs> oh, man. She actually looked happy right there for a split second. That was nice. What's the matter, buddy? You upset? No! Who's up? Not like this. What amazing ability to run away. <laughs> it has been really good for two episodes. Oh my god! Oh my god, a catch-up star. Get out of here. <laughs> he's like dang man yes they did that's still like one of the craziest things that they were able to do was actually turn houses upside down oh my god I I like how he's like making excuses and then he's thinking back to them. That's so good. Is he not going to want to upset Luffy or disappoint? Uh oh. I think it's more your pride that's injured more than anything, bud. See, that's what I was actually saying, like, er earlier with everything, that, like, Usopp still feels mildly detached from everyone. Uh, I, and, and, and I guess you could say it's, it's his cowardice kind of doing it because everyone seems to be, like, all in with Luffy right here. Um, you know, Nami even was having a good time before she betrayed it and, and before the whole thing kicked off, right? Um, but, like, Zoro fully has his back. Sanji fully has his back. These people are trying to save him. And then, like, Usopp literally pretended like he was dead so he doesn't, like, have to fight that guy who's now going back to fight. And, yeah, I think 
it, it, you know, maybe maybe this will be the upcoming moments where Usopp feels more a part of the gang. Uh, you know, well, let's just let's just find out. But th that's what I was talking about earlier, where like it's stuff like this, this that still kind of makes Usopp feel like a detached character from the crew. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. He feels bad. There it is. Yeah, what would Kaya and the group think? There we go. I don't know what blush that fish uses, but it's very strong. Exactly, dude. You wanted to be this. You wanted the real stories. Now start living them, man. Thank you. Usopp's getting it. The fish is very fast. Oh, he made him bounce. Fair enough. <laughs> Oh. Wow, he almost looks human right there. Oh. <laughs> now he's covered in alcohol. Is the flame one next? Oh, that's how I feel sometimes after a soda. Okay. <laughs> How do you figure out where I was? Oh, uh, it's like Call of Duty when you actually, like, you know, it's like, there's no way they see me from this angle and you're just, like, standing in the middle of a hallway. You're done pretending to be a pirate because you are a pirate. Yes, that's what I was assuming he was going to do. Oh, looks like we're going to a fish fry. Oh, I would say sleep with the fishes, but that's kind of just what he does anyway. Dude, way to go. Usopp with the moves, baby. I'll be like, oh, you want some more? <laughs> like out of anyone, like Usopp just returns covered in blood, beating a man to death. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> He looks worse than Momo did. Uh, thank you. So good. I like that, like, almost that character, right? Uh, like, that was character growth right there, where he even realized what I was saying about him that everybody else realizes, too. That's where the whole village just needs to be like, everybody stab him at one time. Oh, is this when Nami steps in? Yes. And she's got the hat. Like, I came to get my money back, dude. Oh, she even did like the loopy thing where she hit her eyes. Oh, come on. I cannot wait for that next episode then. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, such good fights going on. Usopp, like, so I, I literally start these episodes being like, Usopp feels a part of, or doesn't feel a part of the crew because everyone else steps up with Luffy and he always steps back. And, and lo and behold, episode three of today's video this man steps up he even acknowledges what i was talking about it's what i'm talking about baby that is so good i'm proud of him man such good fights today zoro standing up sanji teaching us about fishmen and water and stuff like that and how they breathe so 
round of applause for him and Nami coming back saying she's going to kill Arlong. Oh, very, very good. Dude, I, you know, it, it didn't have the emotional ups and downs and the highs of like that, and, but that I, it shouldn't have. Like every episode can't try to be that. And I love that One Piece doesn't, where it's like, like so far, the super emotional episodes hit really, really hard because these episodes don't try to be other anything other than like the story they're trying to tell. So I really respect that about it. But you know what else I respect? When you guys decide to feed the algorithm monster and hit that subscribe button down below, give us the thumbs up, hit us with some comments, and of course, share the show with your friends. It's always greatly appreciated, y'all. Of course, if you want to take that extra step and you want to see these fully unedited, make sure you go to patreon.com forward slash boomstick. Of course, we're going to leave the socials up here. I really do appreciate the love, guys. Thank you for, uh, thank you for the response on the last video as well with... Uh, with uh, uh, the whole, the whole crying thing, and, you know, it's 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 so great to see all you guys being like, I I've watched this episode a hundred times and I still cry. When I was editing the episode and I got to that part, I teared up. <laughs> like it, it, it's it hits every like no matter what, it just hits, man. Because like once you start getting into the episodes, it, it's just it it just it just becomes like oh emotional roller coaster. It's so good. But for real, guys, thank you for the insane support. We will see you on the next one. I love you faces. And as always, be the joy.